Hi folks, this is my first video on my channel Illinois Gardening and this is my story of how I converted my lawn to garden. First, I chose a location where I get lots of sunlight throughout the day. There are different mobile apps that can help you with this, but those apps does not consider the shadow cast by the buildings or the tall trees in and around your garden. I recommend you check this throughout the day and mark location where you get more sun. Think about the sun's positions during spring uh, versus peak summer. As the change in sun's position change the shadow cast by the nearby buildings and trees. Then type of garden. I decided to go with the raised bed garden as I can start using the bed right away. In-ground garden takes too much of labor uh, to prepare the soil before we can plant the seeds or seedlings. Again, raised bed garden is easy to build and I went with the cheap one. I, I picked up untreated lumber from a local Home Depot and built three raised beds. Two of the beds are eight feet by four feet and one of the bed is 12 feet by four feet. And all the beds are a feet uh, tall. And I'm planning on building like few additional beds this spring. So watch out for a video on how to build a raised bed. It's easy to build, anyone can do it. Next, um, soil. You need to calculate how much of soil you need to put in your raised bed, right? As you can see, my, my beds are not um, filled entirely. Like, you know, I, I filled only up to like you know, uh, 9 to 10 inches of the, the bed height. As I was planning on organic gardening, I did not trust my local nursery compost and topsoils. So I decided to purchase certified organic raised bed soil from nearby home improvement store. I was lucky enough to get a good deal from Home Depot on Kellogg's organic raised bed soil and I had them delivered to my home. Next, fencing. Before I planted anything in the soil, I had to think about protecting the garden from small animals like bunnies. Depending upon your location, you may want to think about deers and other critters crawling into your garden. I did not have any deers nearby, so I set up this low budget fencing using chicken wire and metal stakes. I even built my own gate. Again, very easy to build, anyone can do it. Once I built the fence, I started planting the vegetables. Almost all of them were grown from seeds, except for two eggplants seedlings which I bought from local Walmart. And I grew a lot of vegetables and greens from these three beds. And we had a lot of fun growing Amarnath leaves. In Tamil, we call it a Sirikirai. Um, Gongura, Okra, Moringa leaves, bitter guard, tons of cucumber, potatoes, tomatoes, spinach, cilantro, parsley, chilies, peas, beans, and we even, we even got few watermelons. In addition to these beds that I built, I also stripped a few patches of lawn around my house to make more room for herbs, blackberry and raspberry bushes. And I, I built a separate patch just for corn and a patch specifically for flowers. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you and bye for now.